Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. Today we're in Apollo Beach, Florida, which is on the west coast of Florida, really close to Tampa. We're going to show you this home behind us, which is in Mira Bay, a nice community here in Apollo Beach. The home behind me is a four bedroom, four bathroom home with 3,749 square feet of living. It's currently listed for $1,695,000. I want to thank Shauna for allowing us to film this home. Now, of course, if you're looking to buy anywhere in Florida, make sure you give us a call at 407-487-3030. Uh, you can call or text anytime and myself or one of our partners throughout the state of Florida will be more than happy to either help you list your home or find you the perfect home. So let's talk a little bit about the exterior of this home. So as we come up all the way to the far right, we have a three car tandem garage. So you have a two car bay and then a single car bay behind the second bay. Nice driveway coming up that's paved. Of course, all this really nice tropical landscaping going up to the front of the home. Nice pathway coming up to the front wraparound patio. We also have a wraparound balcony above us. I love the colors on this home. The blues and the whites. You'll see that same theme as we take a tour of the inside of the home. Over to the right, we have a little sitting area so you can watch people go back and forth. And it is an active community here with some really cool amenities, resort style pool, splash pad, plenty of things to do. All restaurants and shopping inside the community as well. So as we come around the wraparound area, we have this really nice railing, nice tropical landscaping over there. And right on the far side are like swings. So you come over here in the shady area, enjoy the swing. French door going into the dining room that we'll show you in just one second. So let's go ahead and go back, follow the paved patio all the way back to the front door. Of course, the front door has that really nice blue shade and of course the glass as well. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into this home. Let me go ahead and close the door behind me. As I walk in, the first thing I notice, of course, are these luxury vinyl floors in this really light shade of wood that go throughout the home. Over to my right is the dining room. It's currently set up for eight people to sit around and enjoy a nice meal. Beautiful chandelier above us. Over to my right, we have some windows looking out on that wraparound patio. And really, the one thing that really stands out in here is how elevated the ceilings are. And as we go up, we have lots of windows going all the way around. So you have tons of natural light here in the dining room. Room. Now, as Haley, who is filming today, goes over by the front door, you'll get a view of what you see when you come in the home, which of course is the dining room, the stairs, and then over here, we do have the butler's pantry going into the kitchen. We'll show you that a little bit later on in the video. Over to the left of the door, we have the French doors going out to the side patio area that we just showed you. But let's go ahead and take a tour going through. We'll pass the stairs and come down this hallway. As we come down to this hallway, we have some French doors over to our left. So let's go ahead and go into this room. What's really nice about this is that we go from that light vinyl to a really nice dark vinyl. I like that contrast between the two as we come into bedroom number two. Uh, we have a king size bed, couple end tables on either side. You have a window looking out on that front patio or and then also a window over to the side yard. Some really nice built in bookshelves going all the way up on the side, our closet. And this one has its own bathroom as well. Right through this door, we go from that luxury vinyl to ceramic tiles floor. We have the pedestal sink, of course, toilet and shower. So I have everything you need here in this suite. So follow me this direction. We'll go ahead and go back left. Now, as I come down this direction, we do have a entryway going into the kitchen. We'll show you that in just one moment, but let's go down the hallway first. As we go down the hallway, I like this little area with this really beautiful wood shelving in these inserts. Uh, and then we come over into the family room, the main living area. So you have your family room, your breakfast nook, and also your kitchen. So let's talk about the family room first. As we look at the family room, the one thing that does stand out has to be this entertainment center with the built-in bookshelves, the cabinets, space for your TV. I love the wallpaper. So you have those same sort of light color, beige, grays, white, and also the blues going throughout. Same thing on this side with the built-in bookshelves and also cabinet. As we come over, we do have the sliding glass door going to the outdoor living area. And that's the best thing about this home. We've seen lots of homes as we travel Florida for 1.695 to have a view like this is I think a very good value. So make sure you keep that in mind. As we look here in the family room, we have the elevated ceiling. So we did also in the um, dining room. And then we come over to the breakfast nook. So it's currently set up for four people. You have a nice light fixture above us. And of course the sliding glass door is going out to the outdoor living area, currently set up as a dining room outside. So let's go ahead and now go over to the kitchen. So the kitchen, the first thing that really stands out to me has to be this counter and how we have the really nice wood planks in the blue colors surrounded by white on either side. And of course the dark black countertops that we see currently set up right now for five people to sit around and enjoy a nice meal or some conversations. So let's go ahead and go into the kitchen and take you on a tour of the rest of the kitchen. This is a nice size kitchen. So as we come into the kitchen, we have a center island. Center island also has that same beautiful countertop and of course the blue cabinets, plenty of space here for storage. Nice light fixture above the center island as well. 
As we come over to the other side, we see what we have on this side of the counter. We have our GE Profile dishwasher, of course the white cabinets, your sink, ice maker, and plenty of more cabinets as we continue to go all around all the way to our double oven, which are Thermador ovens, very high-end ovens, so all set for everything you need there. Um, over to my far side, going back to that pathway that we saw in the hallway as we came in, we do have a pantry. The pantry goes under the stairs, and as you can see, plenty of space here for all your dry goods. So you shouldn't run out of any space here in this home. You got tons of storage space in the kitchen. Right next to that, to the left, is gonna be the side-by-side -side refrigerator. As we continue around, we have some more cabinet space. But let's talk about the other side of the center island. So on this side of the center island, we have a built-in microwave and of course, some more storage. Behind me, we have even more storage, more cabinets, same countertop, five burner gas stove top, beautiful tile in like a bluish gray color. And of course the white cabinets above us, ear vent, nice decorative uh, woodworking as we see with all the crown molding. And of course, in front of me, we do have some glass cabinets for all your fine china. Let's check out the butler's pantry, which is sort of like a drink pantry if we really look at it. So as we come into the butler's pantry, over to my right, we have an industrial wine beverage cooler. So you can keep all your wines cool and regular sodas as well. Uh, next to that, we do have a wine rack and of course all our glasses here on the wall. So everything you need for wine on this side, but if you want other stuff, they have plenty of things on this side. Of course, if you're not into drinking, you can do other things with this area. Um, but I definitely want to be invited to a party that these people have because they definitely look like they know how to party with all their alcoholic drinks here behind the glass and of course the cabinets and of course the, the uh, white cabinets and also the blue gray tile that we saw throughout the rest of the kitchen. So let's go ahead and go on the other side. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. Both me and Haley would definitely appreciate it. If you enjoy watching luxury homes or you're thinking about buying in Florida, uh, make sure you check out our channel and subscribe to our channel. We definitely appreciate that. So we come over to this side of the home. Let's go ahead and talk about our another full bath that we have. So we walk into the full bath. We have the ceramic tile uh, floors, nice blue cabinets, slot service countertops, of course, the mirror and the light fixture. Next to that, the toilet. And then of course we have the shower here on the left side. Now on the other side, what's really neat is you have a pocket door. The pocket door goes into the office that we'll show you in just one second. And then behind me, we have a door going out to the outdoor living area. So if you're out there swimming in the pool and need to take a quick shower, you can come right in here and you have your shower. So that's nice and convenient. Not all homes have that, they have pools. This is what you really want. So let's go ahead and move over to that flex space. Currently set up less like a living room, but you can make this as an office, whatever you want with a specific room. I definitely like it. We have the sliding glass doors behind me going out to the outdoor living area. You can see that freshwater lagoon and of course the pool that we have. We have a really nice window also on the side of the home. So let's go ahead and go over towards the laundry room, which is right across the hallway. So follow me this direction. As we come in here, we see that we have this really nice artistic tile on the floor, your washer, dryer, the sink area, plenty of cabinets. Even the wallpaper looks like it's stone. So it's done really nice, light fixture above us. Nice laundry room. So behind the door to my right is gonna be the three car garage. So let's go ahead and go in there just in case you're thinking about buying this home so you can get a really good idea. As we walk down, we come into the three car tandem garage. So how a three car tandem garage works is that you have a two car bay up in the front and then right where Haley is standing and right in front of me is gonna be your third bay. So you can use it for storage or if you have another vehicle that you don't use as much, you can put it back here. And we also have a door to the side so you go through the side yard as well. So let's go ahead and go back up and take you over to the other side of the home. Now, um, if you are a listing agent of luxury homes anywhere in the state of Florida and would like us to feature your listings on our channel, make sure you give me a call. My number is 407-487-3030. Be more than happy to talk to you about having your homes featured on our channel. It's free, so it's definitely something that would be valuable to you and your sellers. So here we are in the primary bedroom suite. We have our king size bed and table on your side. Beautiful wallpaper going all the way around bay windows overlooking the uh, lagoon and also your pool area, a door going out to the outdoor living area. So let's go ahead and go down the hallway and take you into the bathroom. So as we come here, the first things we do, we see the closets. We have two of them, one to the right, which is really nice. We have some nice custom cabinetry in there. Nice light fixture as well. On the other side, one that's slightly bigger. So you have plenty of space for all your clothes and shoes and everything that you may need in this home. So follow me this direction, we'll go ahead and go right into the bathroom and move over to this really nice tile. Over to the right is the tub, the tub surrounded by the tile as well with a beautiful accent tile and the tub right in the middle. 
windows over with some nice privacy shutters. Next to that, we have the shower. The shower is matching everything else with the same sort of tile and accent tile. A couple windows for some natural lights that's up really nice and high, so it gets you the privacy. And in front of me, we do have the double sink area. Nice white cabinet, solid surface countertops, mirror going all the way along. And then if you're getting out of the shower and you need something to put on, we have our robes over here. So nice little hanging area, so it's nice and convenient to get out of the shower and have everything you need right in front of you. Behind this door is the water closet. So that is the primary bathroom. So follow me this direction. Let's go ahead and go back to the front of the home and check that out. So if you are, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and also if you're interested, like if you're watching this video a year or two from now and you wanna know what's currently available in this area or anywhere in Florida, make sure you give me a call, send me a text. Let me know what area you're interested in. I'll be more than happy to send you all the current listings that are available in the area that you wanna to move to. So. Let's go ahead and go left. And before we go up to the second floor, let's talk a little bit about these beautiful stairs. We have the white spindles, really nice dark brown uh, rails going up. And of course the stairs themselves are in wood with this really nice custom carpet going up all the way up to the second floor. So let's go ahead and go up there and check out the second floor of this home. All right, so welcome to the second floor. As I walk up here, the first thing I notice are these beautiful luxury vinyl floors in an antique wood look. So let's go ahead and talk about what we have. We have a loft area. Right where Haley is is gonna be the fourth bedroom. We'll show you that a little bit uh, later on. But as we come here, we see this is like set up as a craft room, but you can use it however you want. They have a craft table, a little sewing table to my right. So nice little area to do any sort of hobbies you may have, or you can maybe even put a TV and enjoy some relaxing time up here. Behind this door is a storage area does have a pretty big space there, so you can store quite a few things behind that door. And then we go into our full bathroom. As you walk here, we transition over to the ceramic tile floors, and we do have mint color cabinets, solid surface countertops, dual sinks, mirror, light fixtures, a shower behind me, so everything you need here in the upstairs bathroom. So let's go ahead and go to the right and show you bedroom number three. So all the bedrooms are nice size bedrooms, king size bed and table on your side nice color paint all the way around this bedroom the best feature about this bedroom has to be the view outside you see that really nice fresh water lagoon behind us that you could take your boat all the way out to tampa bay and then of course behind the camera we do have a closet with some nice custom built-ins as well so let's go ahead and go over to the other side now if you haven't already look, make some comments on the bottom about what your favorite features are of this home my favorite feature we haven't got to yet which is the outside living area can't wait to show you guys that so here we are in bedroom four Nice king size bed and table on your side. We have a closet over to our right. But what's really neat about this one is that we have the wraparound balcony right off of this bedroom. So let's go ahead and open this door and go out and show you what we have. So this is sort of like, just like we saw it down on the patio below. We have the side balcony looking over onto the really nice landscaping on the side yard. And then we come out to the front pa uh, balcony and the front balcony looks over to the front yard. And of course, this is a really active community. So you can see your neighbors go back and forth. You can wave to them if you want. And of course, the nice, beautiful day behind me. So let's go ahead and check out the pool area. All right, so we're about to do the best part of this tour, which is the outdoor living area. Currently, we're in the family room. So as you can see, we've opened up the sliding glass door and it opens all the way up. All three panels go all the way into the wall, which is really nice. It makes the outdoor and the living, uh, outdoor and indoor living area sort of combined into one. So let's go ahead and step out to the covered patio area. Really nice ceramic tiles in this area. Over to my left is going to be your summer kitchen. You have this really nice barbecue, air vent, sink, refrigerator, everything you need. Of course, all these nice cabinets done in that blue as well. And of course, we see that nice white paneling behind it on all the walls around the back of the home. So over to the right is going to be the fireplace. It is a double sided fireplace. You'll see the other side as we go over by the pool area, beautiful wood mantel, and of course, all the stonework going all the way up to the ceiling. So follow me this direction. If you guys are all wanting to enjoy a barbecue outside, you have this little dining area right off of the breakfast nook. So you can sit out here, enjoy a nice game of cards, board game, or some nice barbecue. So everything you sort of need all set up here in this home. So as you walk around, we have some little racks for your towels, a door going into the bathroom. And as we continue along here, we have the sliding glass doors that go into that flex space or office. So as we step down, we go into from the ceramic tile to some pavers, the nice nice size pool in front of me. So you have plenty of space here to swim going back and forth. Jacuzzi on the far side, but what's really nice is you got so much space out here to live. So you have the little living area, sitting area. This sitting area is right off of the other side of the fireplace. So just imagine out here in a nice winter night, a little cool breeze you have the fireplace on absolutely like paradise sitting here but this is not everything this house has this house has even more so follow me this direction let me show you what else we have we have a little lounge area sitting up so you can look out onto that freshwater lagoon but we do have 
a dock. So let's go down and check out the dock. We'll go through the screen door. And as we come through here, we have paved a paved pathway going all the way down. Uh, first stop would be this little beach area. So a couple palm trees, hammock right in the middle, beach sand on the ground. So you really feel like you're sort of on vacation here in this specific home. As we follow the pathway all the way down, we do have a privacy fence. We go through the gate and then we go down to the dock area. So as we come down here, you'll see that you have some space. You can do some fishing out here if you want. But what's really cool is that we do have a lift. The lift is set up for a 35 foot boat. So if you wanted to, you could take the freshwater lagoon. They have a lift at the end of it that puts you into the salt water and then you're in Tampa Bay. After that, you're only about 20, 25 minutes away from Tampa or St. Petersburg and about 45 minutes away from the Gulf of Mexico. So isn't that made all for $1,695,000? I think that's a lot of value in this home for that price. So if you're interested in this home and get more information, make sure you give us a call or contact us. You can email, text, or call 407-487-3030. Thanks to you all for watching. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.